Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. When I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, I feel so complete because I got my nails back. I can do this now. And if you are new, you're like, Stephanie, I've never seen you with nails because I haven't had nails like in a year, y'all. And it's been a hard, long year. So, October came October went spooky season we're filming this like in the mid-November yeah I've been trying to do this video for like the last like two weeks okay I was gonna have this video for y'all early and then I got lazy and then last week we had something going on and I couldn't do it when I tell y'all right now y'all see all the mess that's going on here like look boxes tape so when I'm done filming this I can pack up all the Halloween stuff over here look look look, look. yeah I got my Thanksgiving over here. This is literally all I have for Thanksgiving. Because I would usually only do like one, maybe two videos. And then I have like my Christmas stuff. But the upside is now I, I, I put up scanty cloth. I'm so, look at this. I got Christmas coffee. It's my peppermint mocha. I know everybody loves like their pumpkin spice latte. And I like a little bit of it. But I'm a peppermint mocha type of gal. I love it. I know a lot of people do not like peppermint mocha. But like I didn't take my light tape though. I'm gonna be shaking later on. Anybody else here like Tosin Tata right now? Mm -mm. Let's go through this because I have like two other videos. Yeah, yeah, y'all gonna be like, who is she right now with all these videos coming out? I know because I haven't had a lot of videos come out. I did watch the Marvels yesterday and I did do a TikTok video and I uploaded it here as a short. So if you want to get like my after the theater thoughts on that, um, you can see it as a short. I also did Radical. Look at me going to the theater in November. Yeah. October was another month where I did not go. Not even one time. Not even one time. I only actually saw one new movie in the month of October. As always, there will be timestamps down below. So if you want to see that one movie that I saw, which was a streaming movie, you can just get right on there on the time. I won't have you go through through all my rewatches. Honestly, I feel like I missed some of the stuff. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think I do have reviews on some things. But as always, anything that I did review from the past will be down below if I of course recall to do that. I eventually do at some point. Sometimes I don't. We are gonna of course start off with rewatches, then like first time watches, and then like things that came out in October for that month, which again would just be one movie. Okay. We're gonna cruise right through this, y'all. Cause it's long. as always y'all know I talk. I miss y'all though. I do. I miss y'all. First up, we got Twitches. We got Twitches too. Um, yeah, I know I already talked about these in a video for my 13 Nights of Fright, which are some of like my favorite Halloween like must watches. You know what? I'll be laughing. I probably don't have a lot of those, and I'm like, I need a must watch these every year, and I I probably didn't do that. But I think Twitches for sure was on there. And when I tell y'all that I was just like, hey, from the first one. Oh yeah, I know I'm terrible with names. Girl caregiver, you know the one like that had the magical power. I was like, look at you. She's from Shit's Creek. She was in a part two though. I was like, where were you? But it's one of those things I love it where like you see, even though you see it every single year, but then you see it again and it's like, oh shit, like I know you from this now. Probably because I had just rewatched Shit's Creek. So it's like very, remember I had talked about it thing like that, but then I'm like rewatching that. I finished it. I love it. I absolutely love this these movies then we have halloween town i only have the one poster here because i couldn't find one like twitches that probably was but i didn't look uh, but we're gonna put all of them together all four i know a lot of people are like no no we're gonna like leave return to halloween town like to the side because we're not associating that look in my defense i did not grow up watching these movies i probably had only seen them for a year because i didn't grow up with cable so i didn't i didn't see these you know as they were coming out so yes when return when return to halloween town came out i was like oh wow they changed marty but it wasn't like a big thing because i hadn't seen the i mean i had seen the previous three but i hadn't like grown up with them right i didn't like rewatch them every single year up until that came out so i totally get the dislike and like how dare you because we went through three movies with this actress and now we have this other actress and yet everybody else is like, i get it but because technically Return to Halloween Town for me was like, hey, my like new movie, I had just barely watched it for a year because we got cable when I was about 18 and I started paying for it. So that came out, I think Return to Halloween Town came like the year after I graduated. Part three, when they're in high school, that's like my least favorite, to be honest with you. But I still, I still love these. Hocus Pocus! Loves it. We're, I mean, that's a loved it, but we're going to put it over here in favorites. 
because it's just a, one of my favorite like all-time movies I could like literally like every time that it comes on I can rewatch it and then we have the Addams Family this will be the Addams Family the Addams Family Values um it's another one that I I love then we have Beetlejuice loves me some Beetlejuice <laughs> then we have the Corpse Bride love it y'all yeah, know my husband voices it of course it's not a favorite also I haven't seen this movie as many times as I would love to to watch it if that makes sense how death looks way more like alive and more color but then when we're in the alive portion of it it's more like gloomy and dark I know when I do like my board game videos I'm always associating like a, a movie with the board game and now that I'm here, I'm going to associate a game with this movie. As I was thinking about it, the, there was this game that came to mind called Gloom. It's a little card game. You're just like a storytelling based game. And they're really cool cards. They're very translucent cards. And you're making a story. You're basically trying to get your opponent to have a better day. And you're just trying to have like a miserable day. You're trying to kill. You're trying to kill off your family. Like that's literally the goal. And everybody else is trying to make like your life way, way better. And you're just like stacking these cards. It's just a really cool game. Um with the right people because you have to make sure you get people that know how to like I guess tell a story or at least continue on because you're trying to kind of play off um with your story then the nightmare before Christmas I mean it's an all-time favorite you know we're gonna put it over here in the front it is an all year round movie I have Jack in my car literally all year long like I bought him last year for spooky season and then like once it ended I was sad and I was just like I guess I'll bring you back for Christmas and then I go no sir you will stay right there until Christmas and Christmas came and went and then I was just like no I'm gonna miss you so he's like my writing buddy so he rides with me all the time he's in my front seat people be trying to chuck him in the back and I'm like excuse you that's Jack's seat okay get it right get it right I wish he had more of a body though because it really is just like his arms and head <laughs> it's kind of hard to maneuver him in there Hubie Halloween I literally started off the spooky season with this movie. I'm not gonna lie, I think I only have a couple more watches before I kind of join everybody on like disliking it. Because I know it's a bad movie. Again, if you saw my video with like some of my favorite Halloween movies, I talk about how bad this movie is. I know it's a bad movie. I do have a review on this. But there's something about it that just kind of, it gets that halloween spirit going i just I have a good time with it okay like sue me i don't really don't care then we have a haunted mansion disney's a haunted mansion i i really enjoy this movie too i think it's a really great movie i think every time that i all well, this is my second time watching it. i did watch it in theaters i do have a review for it it has some really like spooky like ah, moments with the ghosts but this version and then the muppets haunted house are probably my favorites in you know for this one i've only seen three Muppets this one and then the one with Eddie Murphy. I don't like Eddie Murphy's version. Now we're moving on to Fright Night the 2011 version I think it is. I did do a collab video with Jake and I'll um I'll link that down below if you'd like to hear our thoughts on it. This was probably I think like my second or third time watching it. I feel like I enjoyed it more this time uh, compared to the last time and the first time I watched it I did watch it before the original and the original one is really really good for my ladies. My guys too. Colin feral vampire hotness sexiness if you're in a vampire era just saying it's a pretty great movie then we have the ruins i did actually want to do a video that probably should have been part of my 13 nights of fry 2 where i did a comparison between book versus movie as i didn't want well, i don't tend to do a lot i think i have like two other videos that i've done that with the shining and with red right and royal blue it did change quite a bit of stuff for a movie versus book it took me a, a minute to get into the book i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of gonna do a little comparison here this is one of those rare occasions i enjoy the movie more than the book the book was a hard kind of like getting into i think i gave it like 3.75 on goodreads but i like now honestly that i'm thinking about it and after we had like our book club meeting i'm just like that's too high i like the book ending better because in the book nobody survives there's like a lot of like gender swapping in the movie with the book just like who happens to what it's a very 2000s movie it's not scary i thought it was just an um i'm gonna say it was a pretty okay movie i enjoyed it jennifer's body it is a cult classic now but i remember when this movie came out everybody disliked the movie everybody was like shitting on the movie i enjoyed the movie when i first saw it honestly if it had been a hot hot minute since i've seen the movie and i didn't recall a lot of the things that happened especially like towards the end i'm not gonna lie i was like oh 
it was a surprise to get. And I was like, oh wow, okay. I really, I really liked it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's a pretty great movie. Pretty great movie. Okay, and then we got Cruella. The costumes. That's like what the movie is. It's the costumes just are a character of their own and I love the fashion. The fashion was just cuss. I'm gonna say it's a pretty awesome movie. <laughs> then we have Ready or Not. Very violent. It's funny. It's like a uh, satirical. It's an awesome movie. Final Destination, we're just gonna put all the Final Destinations in there. Okay, because I do enjoy all of them. I mean, some of them are like, eh, but like, as a whole. You know, as a whole. I only saw the first one, though. <laughs> no, no, lies. They were coming out a lot. I saw the first three. So the first three is what we're gonna review, okay? But we only have the poster for the first one. They're awesome movies. I really like them because, once again, the gore, the violence, the death. I like that kind of stuff because I'm sick like that, okay? First time watches, okay? I, these are part of my 13 Nights of Fright. This is the first time that I did watch a long movie. The first one that I did was Evil Dead Rise. I did do a poll on like Instagram and on YouTube when you guys voted for this one. It was between this one and Talk To Me. Thankfully you guys picked this one and it was actually pretty good. I, I quite enjoyed it. I've seen the Evil Dead movies, Army of the Darkness. I've seen Ash vs. Evil Dead, the series, which I love. This is a little bit more like, ah, you know, but it's still, it's still good. I, I, again, there's a lot of like ripping of limbs, people dying. I mean, there's obviously some, a little bit of like satanical things, which was like, eek. I thought it was a pretty great movie. And then the second watch long, so I was actually going to do a different video for the last video on my 13 Nights of Fright, which is going to be ranking the haunted house that I went to but then I'm like that doesn't really go with my channel so I did do that on TikTok if you want to enjoy if you're interested if you're from Texas or you want to come to Texas you know during spooky season the Halloween movie that we did that's not on here but well you'll see you'll see the thing there okay it's cobweb all right somebody recommended it to me while we were watching Evil Dead they're like you should do that one next so that was like a Halloween watch along that was literally a last minute thing I had just decided to do that I think like the like the 30th but like at first I was like oh this is fine it's not scary it's not scary we're good we're good and then bam something scary happens y'all I was like ah. they gave me Coraline vibes like there was part that gave me Coraline did it give y'all Coraline vibes because Coraline is scary it's pretty great movie also if you've jumped forward to my one movie that i watch in the month of october you are in the right place this is a prime original movie totally killer and this is a slash movie so you already know i'm gonna love it yeah all right because like, i've already talked about how much i love like people being like cut it up this is like a mix of like back to the future which they do reference a lot in the movie also i feel like hot tub time machine just because of like the ridiculousness to it we're in the 80s it's funny to have somebody like from this time to be in the 80s and then it's all like oh like all the questioning of like the lack of security the lack of just getting in somebody's car like i don't know you and it's like no come on just jump on board the racism or the sexism and all this and then just having somebody from this time period and that time period the difference is kind of funny it was funny so it was a, a good mix of everything that I love, comedy and slashing people up and gore, loves it. Um, this is actually a favorite of the year. I totally love this, okay? Because again, it's just like everything that I love in a movie. So it's just like, this is perfect for me. But these are the movies that I watched in the month of November. Uh, let me know what you guys watched. If you watch any of the same things, let me know all the movies that you went to the theater to watch. I don't know if I've said this to you guys or not, but I just feel like 2023 for movies just really hasn't been it like there have been you know a couple movies here and there that i think like, okay yeah but just like as a whole i don't know like am i alone i probably am alone in this but i just i don't feel compared to other years where it's like like baby you know it's just like meep before you leave don't forget to like comment share subscribe all that good stuff this is it i have two other videos i'm gonna be reviewing only murders in the building and gen z v the boys spinoff. I don't even know what the hell the name is. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, guys. That is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.